Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I will be reading the December 8th Facebook post and making a few comments on it and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. If the video is helpful to you, please be so kind as to give it a thumbs up, share it, like it, or comment on it. Thank you for that. Here we go. Turning everyday moments into blessings. What if each day we made it a conscious effort to use a few of our available moments to offer a silent blessing to this world. As I sit in this cafe and write today's post, I look around at my sisters and brothers and offer them all a prayer of healing. I pray that they all find peace and joy in their lives. I pray that their worries be melted away by love and trust and that their families and friends are embraced by God's mercy. I pray that they find within themselves the power of forgiveness and self-forgiveness. I ask God that they all be bathed in His clarity, charity, strength, and wisdom. I visualize them all being embraced by God's light. In blessing them, I myself feel God's love and mercy flowing through me. For my sisters, brothers, and I are one, and in this moment, I am witnessing that this is truly so. Today let us take a few of those moments that we have available to pray for our sisters and brothers and let us from the deepest parts of our hearts and souls feel flowing through us what it is we ask for them. Today we're going to do something that's quite simple and yet important and a true blessing if we continue to practice it. And that is simply taking back the present moment. Many times we are unconscious of the, of the present moment. And we can do this a couple ways. We can either be staring off into space and not even thinking, or we can be processing the ego's tools, such as judgment, anger, resentment, sadness, stress, anxiety, hate, revenge, all those are symbols of unconsciousness. Symbols that we're not being present, that we're not being our truest self, or that we're not being the love that created us, and love's extensions, such as peace, compassion, kindness, forgiveness, joy. And so, let's give examples. Let's say uh, you're in a supermarket line and uh, somebody in front of the line takes out a checkbook. Well, the ego might have programmed us to uh, be a little bit um, not so pleasant thinking of that individual. And so a certain amount of stress builds up, builds up in us or maybe anger or frustration, let's say. And that's simply symbols that we're unconscious that we're not using the present moment to offer our, our true selves to this world. And so instead of being frustrated or angry at that individual, offer them a blessing, send them peace, send the whole line <laughs> peace. Uh, because obviously there might be a different levels of stress in that line, depending on how unconscious they may be. So instead of buying into the ego's programming, take the moment and make it a blessing. Bless your brothers and sisters with your peace. See that peace flowing down to all of them, to everybody in that line. And when, because we're all one, when you offer this peace to others, you receive it yourself because it first flows through you and then onto them. Equally so, let's say we're in, in the car and again, somebody is not driving quite uh, uh, safe and the ego has programmed us to become angry at them and maybe say a couple words that we might or shouldn't say. <laughs> Instead, let us take back that moment and let us not waste a moment with the ego's tools. Let us take it back and offer the reverse of what the ego is trying to give. Instead of offering them judgment or anger, let us pray for their well-being pray for their safe journey, 
pray for their peace, pray for their family, pray that they get to their destination uh, safely. And so you see, we can take the moment where we were unconscious, where we were simply using the ego's tools, and take it back. Take back the moment and offer a blessing to your brothers and sisters. And then when you offer them a blessing, you too are blessed. Equally so, let's say uh, you're watching the news, and uh, although it's not really recommended nowadays to be watching the news, uh, let's say you become sad because they're talking about some story in Syria or what have you, some in the Middle East. You become sad for those individuals. Instead of playing in the eagle's fairy tale and using the sadness or judgment of others and uh, stressing yourself out and becoming anxious, do the opposite of what the eagle would do because you've already traveled these roads and it gets you really nowhere. Instead, you know, sit down. Turn, turn that newscaster uh, news show off and then pray pray for the people in Syria and if, it, if you're called to you know, do something about it research it offer money to some charities that help people in the Middle East do something with the moment because every moment is a blessing that God gives us but now through free will we have to make a choice are we going to become stay unconscious in the moment? Or are we going to take this moment to bless everybody else and in doing so blessing ourselves? And so here we are. This is what we practice today. Even when I'm sitting down in a cafe or when you're sitting down in a cafe or writing or in a park or wherever and you're just relaxing, instead start looking at other people and offering them prayers. Pray for their health. Pray for their happiness if you if you see them a little bit sad. You know, if you see them a little bit out of shape, pray for their health. And uh, pray for their well-being. Pray for their families, that their families help them in whichever way they can. So, we, so you see there are many moments throughout the day. Yes, we, we are all quite busy. But still, we can find moments throughout the day to lift ourselves to a higher level of consciousness, to use the love that in, that in truth we are, to use compassion, kindness, forgiveness, peace, joy, and to have this spring from us and then shower everybody we look upon, everybody we're interacting with, everybody we see. That is the opportunity that's being offered in every moment shifting away from the unconsciousness and practicing becoming conscious. Practice becoming the love that in truth you are. And the more you practice this, the more you will strengthen this truth. If you keep on practicing the unconscious state, you will make the state more real. You may, will make the state stronger. And you will believe it more and more. I think you've come to a place where you realize that this is not you. Because we've all played this game plenty of times. This is you, the love that you are. And so each moment that we have today to realign with this love that we are, let's use it. And let us use this as triggers. We're not going to judge ourselves if, if we're buying into use or using the use tools. We're not going to do that today. Instead, we're going to use them as triggers to take back the present moment, take back this moment and offer blessings to everybody and all. And by doing so, these, in the end, become gifts. Because when we're practicing getting away from this, we're taking energy away from the ego's tools and strengthening the truth within us. And the more we can strengthen the truth within us, the more we can shine it to everybody in all, the more everybody in all gets touched by this, the more they start to remember that, hmm, maybe, maybe oh, I am too love. Maybe I too deserve joy and peace and health and happiness. So let us simply do that today. Let's take back the moment. Let's become conscious. Let's become like the love that we truly are. And let's offer these blessings to all our brothers and sisters. And remembering that because we're all one, when we offer them blessings, we too are blessed.
thank you very much for your time. I love you very much. If you'd be so kind as to like, comment, or share this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps with the listing process and it can help somebody find this information who can use it someday. If you'd like to leave me a question, I will be delighted to try and offer a response. And if you can please subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you in that community. Again, thank you so much for your time. I love you very much. And God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.